Today's topic for the session is probability. What is probability? In general, we call probability as a chance. Probability is said to be a chance of happening and not happening. So what do you mean by happening and not happening? Let's see with one of the small activity because we see in many international cricket matches the, there's a tossing of a coin through which they decide on the batting or the bowling. So this has a lot of probability which can be applied for tossing of a coin to decide on the winning, winning side of the country which takes the batting or the bowling initially. We are very enthusiastic to know which country if India and Pakistan plays the match we are very enthusiastic to know whether India is batting first or it is bowling first and that is purely decided on tossing of a coin. Now what is the rule of tossing of a coin in international cricket matches? Let's see through a coin. Now I have a coin in which I have heads in one side of the coin and then on the other side I have tails. Usually this three side three headed lion is called heads and the other side of obviously is called a tail. Now coming to this, the tail and the heads is what is the coin with heads and tails. Now this once again with tail and once again with heads of this 10 rupee coin which I'm going to show now I want to know whether I get heads or tails if I just toss this coin. I say it is heads and yes it is heads. It is heads. It is. And then because I got heads I'm happy that I'm going to choose on whether I'm going to bowl or bat depending on the weather conditions and the pitch conditions. Now this question of whether I'm going to get a head or a tail is the biggest question in mathematics. When I toss, I got a head, but when I toss, I may get a tail. This time I got a tail. This time is a tail. Now I got a head in the previous case and I got a tail in the second case of tossing of a coin which makes me puzzled or think of on when can I get a tail or when can I get a head is the biggest question which connects probability indirectly called the chance. So the chance of getting a tail or chance of not getting a tail is how we judge on probability. So to start with the head and tail we have seen in tossing of a coin Let's come back with some mathematical understanding. Now in this tossing of a coin, I can either get a head or I can get a tail. So there are 50-50% chances of getting a head or a tail because there are two possibilities. One is the head and one is the tail out of which there are 50% chances of getting a head and 50% chances of getting a tail. How do you know that there are 50% chances is the biggest question here because when you toss a coin there are equally chances of getting a head or a tail out of the 100% of possibility. So this kind of questions are arising due to the probability which we need to estimate through mathematics. So let's see through many further examples on how we can estimate the chances of happening or not happening through probability connected with mathematics. Now let's take one more example to understand probability more better. So for example, I have two possibilities with bag one and bag two. In both of the bags, I have 
say different colored box in which in this bag I have So totally I observe that in this bag there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 balls assuming that these are the balls inside the bag and in this bag there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 balls even in bag 2. But here there are 5 balls which are red in color and 1 ball which is blue in color but in this case there are two balls which are red in color, two balls which are blue in color and one ball which is white in color or two balls which are white in color. So if I see the comparison between bag one and bag two, my question is what is the chance? The question here is what is the chance of picking up A red ball from each of the bags is the question out here through which we understand the probability or chance of happening more better. So with the question being what is the chance of picking up a red ball from each of the bags we have the bag one clearly with five red balls and one blue ball and here this bag with six balls being two with red, two with blue and two with white. Now the question being what is the chance of picking up a red ball from each of the bags? I think this bag has more chances of picking up the red ball because there are five red balls and only one blue ball. So chances of picking a red ball is more here. And the chances of picking the red ball is not that high because equally all the different balls are of same color equal number of balls are of same different colors where two red two blue and two white may not be a higher chance of picking up a red ball from the bag but this bag with five red balls the chances of picking up a red ball is more high in this case and less often this this makes us understand that situations differ than the chances of happening and not happening differ in the case of bag one, chances is more of picking a red ball and in bag two, chances are less of picking a red ball. Simply because there are more number of red balls in this bag and there are less number of red balls in the bag is how we understand. So the answer for this question is obviously bag one. This is the answer. Bag one is the answer. So this is how we understand probability in daily life connected with many problems. But what is the exact definition or the exact formula through which we can identify the probability or chance of happening and not happening using the real life situational problems is what we are going to discuss for the session. Probability connected with the formulae.